Namaste. I'd like for you to have this opportunity to practice purely for your happiness. Now, happiness arises effortlessly when we balance our sense of self with our sense of community and focus on the joys that relationships bring. Good company gives our lives more happiness because we can share our feelings and experiences with one another. Relating to each other with understanding and support weaves us together into a mutually uplifting community. And yoga provides a methodology to enhance the relationship internally between body, mind, and spirit so that we can create positive relationships within us and therefore with others, resulting in lasting happiness. Please embody this happy relationship within yourself and invite all the parts of yourself to join together in each asana in a happy way. To center, Draw the lower back in, roll the shoulders up and back, and take some complete breaths, each one satisfying you, each breath bringing happiness, pleasure, fulfillment, Perhaps even remembering some of our cherished relationships. Lewis Carroll wrote, The secret, Alice, is to surround yourself with people who make your heart smile. It's then and only then that you'll find Wonderland. All right. Let's just begin to stretch forward, walk the hands in front and fold over the hips. Relax down with the head, lengthen the neck. Inhale, rise through the armpits to broaden the back of the shoulders and move a little from side to side, sway and move as your body invites you to. And try walking the hands from one side to the other Up, come back straight spine and lift up the right arm and stretch over to the side pressing the right hip down and then switch sides and bring the right hand down lift the left arm and crescent over Perfect. And then come down onto the stomach into prone position. And start to get the back. And crocodile pose. Just press down through the forearms and pull back through the shoulder blades. Squeeze the legs towards the midline and firm in the hips and pelvis to press down. Continue with complete breaths.
And slide the hands underneath the shoulders and curl the back up into Cobra Pose. And move if you're inclined to by rocking side to side, twisting, whatever movement feels organically connected to your body. And rest down to your stomach. Bring the arms straight back, the palms face down for locust. And lift the legs. Press down with the palms. Gradually increase the lift of the legs. And release and relax. Legs down. Bring the right arm forward and roll onto your right side. Bend the left knee and bind the left hand to the left foot. And stay either on your side or roll flat onto your stomach. Lift up the rib cage. Press down with that right palm to lift the base of the rib cage away from the floor. Or press that left foot into the hand so that you can lift the right arm. And breathe there. Great, good strength, good job. And release, rest that side and bring the left arm forward. Roll onto the left side and bend the right knee. Bind the right hand to the right ankle. And either staying on your side <clears throat> or flat on your stomach, lift up the rib cage. Press the foot into the hand. And try to lift the left arm. Strong breath for the strong pose. Going to help your back, good posture, and even better breathing. And rest, come down, <laughs> did great. And make crocodile pose by folding the forearms in front of the chest, stacking the one wrist on top of the other, and then resting your forehead on the back of the wrist. Turn the toes out and Again, support the front of the rib cage with the elbows pressing down. So merely the diaphragm is in contact with the mat. together. Now balance on just the right uh, forearm, bend the left knee and reach back to hold that left ankle with that left hand. Come into half frog pose, Ardha Bakasana. We're pulling this left heel down towards the hip. Trying to keep hips level. Back flat. We'll switch sides, slowly release that leg, balance on the left forearm, and hold the right ankle with the right hand, either from the outside, pulling it towards the hip, or from the inside and spinning the elbow up. Now lift up through the navel so you're not uh, <laughs> straining the lower back. No. 
another breath. And slowly release this side. And press the hands down to lift the chest up. And ease the hips back into child's pose. Widen the knees. Lower the head. Children are seldom still, so if your child pose means a little movement, that's fine. If you listen to your body, and keep it happy. And I'm going to Lift up to table pose and I guess just come into a squat. So walk the hands back, lift the knees up, and balance on the balls of the feet with the elbows inside the knees. Inhale, lengthen the spine, drawing the shoulder blades down. And on the exhale, Lean into the hands, and the knees gripping in towards the sides of the arms. Keep her squeezing the knees inward as you tilt farther forward, stretching inner thighs, but also strengthening them. Okay? So hugging the knees to the midline. Begin to straighten the legs, lift the hips into a forward fold. And inhale, roll the back up. And we'll walk up to the front. Step the right foot back into warrior. Bend the left knee. And lift the arms and circle the arms, inhaling to open the chest. Exhaling, reach it forward, backs of the hands towards each other. And taking time to complete each breath so you can feel each part of your body engaged and in relationship with the breath. A happy relationship. One that wants to What makes you want to smile? Now lift the arms straight over the shoulders. Widen the shoulders. Pull the navel in. And be a happy warrior. Lifting the rib cage up. Pressing the feet down, you create space in the lower back to breathe into the kidneys, to the back of the rib cage. So all those parts of your body are in positive relationship with the breath. Now please bring the arms behind to Yoga Mudra, clasping the fingers or simply holding the back of the hips to squeeze the shoulder blades together and scoop the heart up. Take it into a little back bend or deeper back bend by bending the front knee a little farther forward. And release the hands down to the front leg and start to straighten the knee, folding over the left hip to pyramid pose, Parshvottanasana. Inhale, just realign the hips, make the pose more friendly, and exhale, squeeze the muscles to the bone and lift up the kneecap, bringing the thigh bone up into the hip socket, a nice deep crease in that left hip 
to fold out and over the hip. Inhale, lengthen the neck and spine. And exhale, straighten the knee and lift in up through the navel. Big friendly breaths makes this a happy pose. Step the right foot forward, inhaling hands to knees, back flat. Exhale and fold over straight legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift, rise with arms overhead, full extension. And exhale, bring hands to the heart, Anjali Mudra. Connecting in relationship between mind and the heart. And now step left foot back, warrior one. And bend the right knee. Plant the feet into the mat. And when the feet are solid, start to lift the arms and circle them. Slow, even breaths. That your body and breath can join together in a happy relationship. The movement married to the breath. Lift the arms, Virabhadrasana, warrior. Breathe into the lower back, to the kidneys. By rooting down through the feet, you can lift up the rib cage, lift up your heart, lift up your spirits. To have a happy warrior. Clasp the hands behind in yoga mudra or hold on to the hips with the elbows <coughs> behind. Scoop up the heart by pressing down through the legs and tilt back into a back bend. I'll release the back bend, bring the hands to the front knee, inhale, fold halfway, and exhale, straighten the knee and slide down. Coming to Parshvottanasana, the pyramid. Inhale, square the hips, and exhale, deepen the forward fold. Pulling the navel up, away from the front leg. Taking long, even breaths that add joy and happiness to the pose. Step the left foot forward, inhale halfway up, then exhale, fold over straight legs, and bend the knees, lift up, stand tall, and exhale, rest the arms. Turn to the side, wide legs. Moment just to take 
Take your breath in with your awareness. Inhale, lift the arms. And exhale, bring them down through the midline. Bend the knees till the hands touch. The knees still bent, glide the hips from side to side. And walk the hands forward, pull the hips back. So hang back with the hips, claw with the fingertips, and rise up through the armpits. So there's And then roll the back up and stand up all the way. Good. Turn the right toes out for warrior two. And lift the arms, shoulders back. Exhale, bend the knee, engage the thighs. Good. Inhale, lift the arms, straighten the knee. And exhale, back to warrior two. Virabhadrasana. Strengthen those inner thighs with this movement. So each time you come into warrior, you'll be able to go a little bit deeper. All right. Next time, hold warrior, bend the front knee, and take the right elbow down onto the knee and the left arm forward. Extended side angle, Parshva Kanasana. Inhale, look up and exhale, tighten through the inner thighs, through the navel, and tuck that right hip under so the chest can spiral open. The breath become part of each muscle. And lift up all the way to stand. And turn the feet the opposite way. Warrior again, bend the left knee. On the inhale, lift the arm, straighten the leg. Come tall and straight. On the exhale, open the arms back to warrior, bending the left knee. Take your time and complete one breath at a time. Okay, next time hold warrior two. Okay, right hip back, right shoulder back. And then take the left elbow to the knee and to side angle and look up. That's the way, good. Really press through the soles of the feet and that will support the hips so that you can stack the hips. Open the heart and lengthen through the side of the body. Good, and come up to straight back. And step to the front of the mat. We will take a um, back down to the floor. So take a vinyasa, sweep up on the inhale and fold forward on the exhale. Hands down, walk back to downward facing dog. Couple of breaths to really deepen the pose. 
inviting every muscle in the whole body to engage and participate in relationship with one another and happy relationship with the breath. Now, you can rest down to the knees <laughs> and widen the knees if you need to, even to can turn to the side of the mat for a wide knee child's pose. Sitting towards the heels, work and tense the inner legs and thighs to hug knees towards the midline. And then keeping that inner tension in the hips and thighs, come forward a little bit onto the elbows. Or deeper down with the head to the floor. But still remembering to stay in positive relationship with muscles by hugging the knees into the midline and strengthen the inner thighs. Gradually sit back up onto the heels. Good. And take some uh, lunge poses next. So, in a low lunge with the right foot forward. The left knee back. And press down through the legs, lift hands up to the front knee. Inhale, find your focus of being happy in this pose. Invite the relationship to grow, to blossom, to shine. As you raise your arms, Engage every part of yourself. And rest, bring the hands down. And keeping the left hand down, windmill the right arm up and twist, turn, face that right hand. You can stay with that left knee on the mat or curl the left toes under, lift up the left knee to high lunge. And bring the right hand down to the inside of the right knee and lower the back knee if you've lifted it. Start to fold over the right hip and lift the right toes up. The wider your hands are to the side, the easier <laughs> the, the fold begins, is to begin with. And over a series of breaths, you might find that you can walk your hands more to the center. <laughs> And with happy, full breaths, you can keep smiling even in stressful situations. All right, release the side, step the right foot back, and now the left foot forward. Build the foundation and then we'll lift the hands up to the left knee and build the relationship of the breath and the body. And then we 
with your will. Raise up the arms to desire to build a happy relationship within so that can be reflected into your everyday experiences with others. And be a catalyst for their happiness too. Bring the hands down and twist to the left. Open the left arm, looking up. Roll the shoulders back and press down through the legs. Stay positive in this effort <laughs> to have happiness infuse your relationships, both within yourself and with others. And release the left hand, bring it down and start to straighten the left knee. Now and lift up the left toes, soften the knee on the inhale, make space for yourself to fold and with the exhale tighten the tummy, squeeze the kneecap and be patient. Be good friends with your body, giving it time, giving it space. Giving it lots and lots of breath. Smiling, happy, engaged and in this wonderful relationship together. You'll be exuding happiness by the end of this practice. Step the left foot back, release into a nice downward dog <clears throat> with the knees up, <clears throat> the hips back. You can breathe happiness even into this very challenging pose. Make it more challenging. Lift the right leg up into three-legged dog. And then bend the right knee. Swing it forward to pigeon. Turning the right knee out at an angle and sliding it behind the right wrist. Then walk the left knee back. Bring the hips lower but still buoyantly engaged through lifting the pelvic floor, hugging the inner thighs towards the midline. This will help you stay balanced and steady. <laughs> and if you desire, deepen the pose coming forward to the elbows. But still remembering that there's this relationship between hugging the thighs to the midline, toning the pelvic floor and lower abdomen, to having this peaceful and happy relationship with the breath throughout and sustaining the pose. Gradually lift up 
step the right foot back. And walk the knees. And return to downward dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Balancing on the right foot, lift the left leg to three-legged dog. And bend the left knee, slide it forward behind the left, left wrist. Turn it out to the side. And gradually work the right knee back. Lower the hips. Keep the chest from collapsing by rolling the shoulders back and engaging through the abdomen, the pelvis. One at a time, breathe forward towards the floor. One stage at a time, deep in the pose. One happy breath at a time. Smile in the pose. And finally lift up from pigeon. And step through to seated. Open the legs nice and wide and move the, move the sitting bones back and draw the lower back in. Rise up tall, inhale and exhale, fold forward over the hips. Now work the quadricep muscles so you're squeezing tightening those thigh muscles. Mm. Smooth, happy breaths. Keeping this inner relationship flowing joyously. lift up and release. Good. And lift up the backs of the knees. Bring the soles of the feet together. The knees apart. And pull against the ankles or press the fingertips behind so that you can sit up tall. Draw the lower back in. And keeping that fold forward over the hips. Inhale, lengthen the spine, release tension in the neck. Exhale, add a little pressure with the elbows against the inner thighs, knees. Seeing the body, give it the encouragement that it wants to do its best. And we'll lift up, release that cobbler pose, 
okay. And bring the ankles in front of one another. So it can be uh, Sukhasana pose or the auspicious pose, the knees a little bit wider apart. Now I need to be kind of sitting up on a little bit of height for that. So find a comfortable seated pose that your head, neck, and trunk can all be in a plumb line over the sitting bones. And take this time to be aware of your breath. Relaxing the abdomen, inhale until your lungs reach their capacity. And at the top of the inhale, relax and let that breath go without any pause or at the same speed. squeezing out every drop of air until there's none left and you can relax the belly and begin the next inhalation. Making good friends with your breath through diaphragmatic breathing will nourish the body more and maintain a happier person within. Now you can release and rest onto your back and lay down for bridge pose. Lift up the knees Walk the heels in towards the sitting bones, keeping the feet parallel, the knees from splaying apart. Hug the knees to the midline and press down through the feet. Push the elbows into the floor and lift the sides of the hips up. Support underneath with your hands, holding the buttocks or clasp the hands. Roll the shoulder blades in and lift the heart up. Inhale, boost the hips up high. And exhale, squeeze to the midline, firm in the buttocks. Inhale, lift to your max. Exhale, squeeze with strength. Take one more big breath in. And release the hands when you exhale, lower all the way down and rest, relax, let go. Now, lengthen the left leg flat on the, le on the mat and hug the right knee inward towards your chest. Inhale, loosen the arms and exhale, hug the knee tighter. Now hold behind the right thigh and straighten the right leg, stretch it up to the sky, flex the ankle and spread the toes so the ball of the foot is extending towards the sky. Inhale, roll the shoulder blades under the back and exhale, press that right thigh into your hands, straighten the knee, extend the leg fully. And over a series of breaths, you can begin climbing the hands up towards the ankle. Or holding the big toe with the yogi toe lock. or holding a strap over the arch of the foot. Now release and let this right leg drift down to the floor. Begin to hug the left knee into the chest. 
Inhale, getting space for the breath. And exhale, hugging the knee closer, stretching and lengthening the bottom leg. Continuous breaths in and out. Extend the left leg and hold the back of the left thigh. Stretch up through the ball of the left foot. And exhale, bring the left leg closer to the chest or straighten the left knee. Over a series of breaths, add to the stretch without needing to lift the shoulders or head up off the floor. Without even straining so much that your smile is broken. Rest and let the left leg drift down to the floor. And, and stretch arms over the head. And then hug the knees into the chest. And happy baby. Separate the knees and hold the feet or the ankles and pull down with the shoulders while the feet press up into the hands. And as happy babies sometimes like to do, they might be rolling around on the floor, rocking. Experimenting with how their body works. <laughs> and any other pose or stretch that your body wants to try, where you can start to satisfy all the large and small muscles of your body, stretching the fingers and hands or the feet and the toes, maybe rolling the ankles or the wrists helps, wiggling, jiggling, getting the full body stretch that you crave in your body that will satisfy every muscle so that when you're ready to completely rest, relax, bring your arms down by your side for Shavasana. Tuck the shoulder blades under the back and find a comfortable position for your back, arms and legs where you can rest peacefully and quietly. And there you can enjoy the happiness within that you've fostered in this practice. Contentment, well-being, pleasure, and serenity. Enjoy this peace, this fulfillment, and forgiveness. Let yourself rest, relax now, 
all the muscles of your body letting go of their effort ready to be still and quiet, rejuvenate internally, allowing this time and space for your body to rest in happiness knowing that you've done something good for yourself today already. And this internal happiness will be exuded <laughs> by your smile whenever you are in relationship to other people as well. You deserve this happiness. You're a good yogi, a good person. Now systematically thank each part of your body for its happy relationship with you. Thanking the face, the eyes, letting them soften, rest, and thanking the shoulders and arms, allowing them to rest, relax, and thanking the chest and back. And thanking the abdomen and the hips. And thanking the legs. And mentally thanking the ankles, the feet and the toes. And having this happy body in relationship to the mind, you are a happy person. And your happiness is contagious when you smile at other people. So begin to deepen your breath and stretch to awaken your happy body. And finally, roll to your side 
Take time to become fully aware of each part of yourself and your happy relationship with it before coming up slowly again to a seated posture. I bow to the happiness within each of you. Namaste.